Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be taking these really sad and bare looking natural nails and making them a little bit more jazzy with a super simple nail art tutorial using a selection of pastel rainbow colours and a simple dotting tool. So if you want to see how I did this then keep on watching. So these are the colours that I decided to go for. From the CND shellac range I've got Tropics, Salmon Rush, Mint Convertible, Creekside and Cake Pop. And then I also have just a pale banana yellow from Lavender Violets and a lilac sort of purple from Visa Nails. You want to pick a nude colour for the background. This is Cityscape by Shellac, which is just a really light grey. And then this is also another sort of grey shade from Vina Lisa. Because I'm super pale at the moment, I actually thought I would prefer to go for a darker grey. So this is Asphalt from Shellac. And then this is just a slightly lighter, more blue version from Lavender Violets and this is the colour that I decided to go for. To start with I'm cleansing my nails with isopropyl alcohol and I do already have a base coat of gel polish on these nails. Then my next step is to go in with Give Me Strength from Magpie Beauty and the reason I'm doing this is I like to have just that little bit of extra structure and this is a really really thin sort of soft gel. Um, so it's really good for going over glitters and things like that, just giving a little bit of added strength to the nail. So what I'm doing is creating a slip layer first, which is just a really thin layer, and then going back in with a larger blob, a little bead almost, of the product on the brush, and gently teasing that with the tip of the brush into place on my nail. And what I'm doing is building a little bit of an apex, trying to put the structure where I feel my nail needs it or where it is the weakest and just looking at it you can see there's a nice natural looking apex on there and it is really self leveling which is great which means you don't need to file too much afterwards just going in with a little buff but I'm just perfecting that before I cure it and go on to the rest of the nails. So you can see that it's not a huge amount of product that I'm adding to the nails, just enough so that if I bash them around, because I'm quite heavy handed, I'm pretty careless with my nails to be honest, it just means that they're less likely to break or crack or peel away. I just really like this added extra step. Once everything is cured and I'm happy, I go in with my white buffing block. And this is just to smooth over the top surface. Generally I don't need to go in with a proper file because there aren't any lumps and I've only added such a small amount of product I only want to smoothen it just to make sure that that polish application is going to be perfect. Once I'm happy with the buffing I will go back in with my file just to neaten up the free edge as sometimes when you apply product it can get a little bit more bulky towards the edge and just change the shape so you want to sharpen that up before you do anything else. Now I'm going in with my base colour of choice and I'm just taking my time especially around the cuticle area as this can be a little bit trickier. If you take your time with it, you're not going to flood the nail and then have to remove everything and start all over again. It will just keep everything neat and mean that your second layer can go on much, much quicker. I was happy just doing two coats and that is what this looks like. For some reason the way my light is set up makes it look like it's a bit lumpy bumpy towards the free edge, but it's not, it's just the way the light is shining on it. Now all I'm doing is taking the colours and putting some little blobs of them onto a piece of backing paper. You can use tin foil, anything that won't soak it up, just to make it easier to go ahead and start the design. Then I'm going to take my dotting tool. You can get these anywhere, Amazon, eBay, Sally's, and I'll leave a few links below. And I'm going first in with the colour that is going to be in the centre. So I've chosen seven colours, which means the fourth colour, which is the green, is going to be centred straight in the middle of the fingernail. 
So I've gone in with that and then I'm going in with the colours around the sides of that which is obviously blue because I'm following the classic rainbow sort of acronym. And the way I'm doing this is when I pick up a colour towards the side as I'm moving out from the centre, I press a little bit more lightly and this means that the dot is smaller each time. So as you can see, the green one is the biggest, the yellow and blue are the second biggest. I've made them the same size and as I come in with the next two colours which are the orange and I actually decided to go with the lilac next after the blue because I thought it would lead into the pink better than going into the pink straight away and I'm pressing again another little bit lighter and it makes the dot smaller and then the good thing about dotting tools is they tend to come with two dots kind of dotting implements on either side. One's a little bit bigger and one is smaller and the one that I've chosen has a kind of medium sized one and then a much smaller one. So I'm using the smaller side now to go in with my last colour and you can see how it makes the perfect rainbow gradient and also a size gradient and I love that. So I'm going to do that again repeating those steps but to mix it up I thought instead of doing the rainbow the same way on all of the nails so for example starting with the red on the right hand side and then going into all the other colors and ending on the pink i thought it would actually look a little bit cooler if the rainbow gradient kind of continues along the nails like a little bit of a mexican wave so on my pinky finger i have the red on the goodness what side is that it's the left obviously and then you can see on the ring finger the red is picking up on the left hand side so it looks like the red is kind of skipping over to the next nail continuing and then going around the greens and the blues into the pink and then when I get onto the middle finger I'm picking it back up with the pink and then continuing that around so you got a nice little Mexican wave When they're all finished they look like this and I love this nail art it's so simple but it's really effective it looks like you've put tons of time into it especially if, if you do actually take a little bit of time to make sure that it is neat and perfect and if you pick colors that correspond with each other well but somehow this still wasn't enough for me and I wanted to go that little step extra and I decided to do the same exact pattern but on the free edge of my nails. So in the end, they kind of looked like they had a whole rainbow circle going around them basically. So I'm following the exact same pattern and the exact same color gradient for each nail. So on this one, because I've got the oranges and the reds on the right hand side, I'm gonna keep them on the right hand side on the free edge and the yellows and the pinks and the purples are on the left hand side and that's what I'm gonna do again. One of the last things to do is obviously going in with your trusty top coat. This is the Magpie Don't Be Tacky top coat that I'm using but for some reason it wasn't giving me the shine that I wanted and that I was looking for so I did go back in and do a second coat but this time with the gelish top it off top coat that I use in the majority of my past videos. I just think it gives a really good shine. And I don't know what happened this time around that the Don't Be Tacky didn't do that itself, but there's always another solution, especially when you have as many products on hand as I do. Add your cuticle oil, and that is them 
basically ready to go. Cuticle oil is great for bringing back the moisture and life into your nails after having any products like acetone or alcohol on the skin around. So this is the final result and I'm really really happy with them. They're so easy, so simple and I couldn't recommend them more, especially for anyone who's starting out with nail art and just wants to have a little bit of fun with a new technique and some colours. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.